Today we will be discussing honeypots and honeynets. They are a feature in web application that can make it dangerous or make it secure. Honeypots. Honeypots serve as decoy systems inside fully operating networks and servers. They deflect criminal attention from the real system while analyzing malicious activity to help mitigate vulnerabilities. Honeypots are computers or hosts that are set up specifically to become targets of attacks. It makes your computer or hosts look vulnerable, attractive, and easy to attack from the eyes of an attacker or hacker. So in other words it is considered as a trap. Here are attributes of a honeypot. 1. They appear to have sensitive information. Make it look irresistible to hackers. We will purposely leave our vulnerabilities open, so when the attack or hacker perform their hack, or penetration test, or they will use their tools. And once they open scan, or open the computer, they can see everything, and then they will tempted to access or get them. 2. They appear to be secure. Of course to make honeypots appealing, and look like a legit server, it must look like it is secure. 3. Monitored to identify hackers. We have tools, or software to monitor the hackers' activities, and we can identify that hacker, and do whatever they want. Making them as if they are stealing our information and data. But we are actually monitoring them, knowing who they are, tracking them, and identifying their methods and techniques. 4. It's a trap. So in actual, we were the ones making it, that they can hack us. But little do they know. It was part of our plan. And we can capture them, or report them after. Honeynets. Honeynet is actually honeypot but, in a larger scale, and it appears to be more sophisticated, and more elaborate than a honeypot, showing that the whole server is actually vulnerable, but as always the attacker do not know that they are the ones being hacked. Honeynet, is a decoy network that contains one, or more honeypots. It looks like a real network and contains multiple systems, but is hosted on one, or only a few servers, each representing one environment. Dangers of honeypots. The risk to honeypots, or honeynets is that if it was made almost, or near identical to the real server or host, then hackers would easily be able to hack the real server. Here we will see know how honeypot acts as a defensive measure, and the type of honeypot, that is used. 1. Pure honeypots. 2. Low interaction honeypots. 3. High interaction honeypots. 1. Pure honeypots. Complete production systems that monitor attacks through bug taps on the link that connects the honeypot to the network. Only for monitoring purposes. 2. Low interaction honeypots. Imitate services and systems that frequently attract criminal attention. They offer a method for collecting data from blind attacks such as botnets and worms malware. These are good only against bots or automations. 3. High Interaction Honeypots These don't restrict the level of activity of a cyber criminal, providing extensive cyber security insights. Unfortunately, they are higher maintenance and require expertise and the use of additional technologies like virtual machines to ensure attackers cannot access the real system. I hope you learned something. For more information, download your module on our Facebook group. Thanks for watching.